Welcome to our lecture online. Here's a second example of how to find the equation of a line given the two intercepts. So we cross the y-axis at y equals 4, we cross the x-axis at x equals negative 2. We are given the general form of the equation ax plus by plus c. So to find the equation of that line, we need to find a, b, and c. So first what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the x and y value of the two points in our general equation, subtract one equation from the other to eliminate c, and then find a relationship between a and b. So let's do that. So we have uh, a times x plus b times y equals c, a times x plus b times y equals c, and here we're going to plug in the ordered pairs of the two points on the line where the line intersects the x and the y axis. So, uh, using red for 0 and 4, x equals 0, y equals 4, and using the purple color for the second point, x equals negative 2 and b equals 0, uh, or y equals 0, I should say. And I'm going to subtract the second equation from the first and then add them together. Now, it's better just to implement the negative sign, in other words, multiply the negative sign times each of the terms in the second equation, and then add it to the first equation. So we end up with 0a plus 4b equals c, and then here we end up with negative times a negative 2, that's a positive 2a, a negative times this would be plus 0b, and a negative times c is equal to a negative c. Now we simply add the two equations together, which makes it a little bit easier. So here we end up with 2a, plus 4b is equal to 0. Move the 4b across, we get 2a is equal to negative 4b, or a is equal to, divide both sides by 2, negative 2b. All right, so since a is equal to negative 2b, if we let b equals 1, then a will be negative 2. So we're going to let b equals 1, and that's an arbitrary number. So we'll let b equals to 1, since there's no fraction, that might be easiest. And that becomes, then we get a is equal to negative 2 times 1, which is negative 2, or a equals negative 2. So when b equals 1, a equals negative 2, that gives us two of the three values we're looking for. So let's plug that into our general equation. So we have a is negative 2, so negative 2 times x plus b, that's 1, plus 1 times y is equal to c. Now all we have left to do is solve for c, and we can do that by taking either one of our two points and plugging them into the value for x and y into our equation and solve for c. So let's try the first point. Minus 2 times x plus 1 times y is equal to c. Let's plug in the values of x and y where the line crosses the y-axis. 0 for x, 4 for y. And to do that, we get 0 plus 4 equals c, or c is equal to 4. Well, let's plug in the other point to see if we get the same value for c. So again, we get negative 2 times x plus 1 times y. Oop, y. We're going to plug in a value for y is equal to c. Now, in this case, we're going to plug in the second point, negative 2 and 0. So negative 2 and 0. And notice when I do that, I get negative 2 times negative 2, which is 4, plus 0 equals c, or c equals 4 as well. So either way, we would have gotten the correct value for c. We plug that back into our equation, and now we can see that negative 2x <coughs> plus 1y is equal to 4, and that is the equation of the line we were looking for. And that is how it's done.